Put it out the coop in the lot. Put it for a 12 for a swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. I just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to organize a group football session just like the professionals do. So if you go out with some teammates or some friends during the off season or during the summer, you will have a little bit of structure to your session so that you're going to be continuously getting better every session and you're not wasting your time. But with every session, I always like to warm up, you know, doing a nice easy jog for about 5 to 10 minutes. Of course, within this warm up, I recommend doing some dynamic stretches and mobility work. So after the warm-up, I like to do some rondo. I think this is a great warm-up for players to get some touches on the ball and just to kind of wake up mentally and mentally prepare for the entire session. Once we finish the rondo, I like to implement some plyometrics and some agility work. And you always want to do this at the beginning of the session when your legs are fresh because you always want to do power exercises before. And then at the end of the session, if you want to do some more endurance or other stuff, you can do that as well. After doing that, I like to do some technical work, so getting, you know, doing some pass backs, doing some juggling work, any, it could be any technical drills, it could even be ball mastery. After you do those technical individual drills, I like to move into some passing sequences where everyone's being involved, you know, it could be any type of passing variation, it doesn't have to be, you know, anything complicated, it could be a square drill or anything, that's the reason why I like to add this is because I want everyone's passing to get you know to be very sharp i want everyone to kind of build a chemistry with each other because once this ends then we're going to go into some possession and by then everyone's passing and their first touch should be you know sharp spot on and everyone should you know kind of should have an idea of who they're playing with so a lot of times you know i have invite friends that they've never played with each other and that's the reason why i have them do those drills before so that you know they can build you know a little chemistry before we go into the possession after we do the possession, I like to do, you know, some position specific drills, you know, finishing for my strikers, finishing for my midfielders and anything really, you know, what players want to work on. So once we finish with the position specific drills, I like to end it with some endurance focused fitness. So the intensity is going to be lower, but the duration or the distance covered is going to be a little bit longer. I also like to add it like a short little core circuit into it and you know maybe do some push-ups as well which I think is very important to add. But I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this gave you a better understanding on how you should structure your sessions so that you know you go out, you know, every training session with a better, you know, idea and you know you're not just going out there wasting your time, but you're trying to make the most out of every training session. But the rest of the video is just going to be clips from the training. So if you want to skip through, then skip through. If you want to watch the rest of the training session, um, go ahead. But thank you guys for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you for getting on the ground. Thank you. Off it off. Good save. Okay, now we're on. <laughs>
some tape.